Hey everyone, what's up? Markus from Future Studio University here. When using Harpy as a web framework, you're building your application on solid ground. And while building your application, you want to accept various kinds of data within your application, like within the rendered view from a front end and the user submits a form, or you're accepting requests to your API. And with the request data, you may sign up a user to your platform. So, and within this tutorial, we're going to focus only on how to access the data that comes with the request as payload. But before diving into the code, I want to make sure that you know that you can find the written tutorial and the code for easy copy and pasting on our website. It's the first thing in the description below. You can check it out. Okay, let's get to the code. I've already prepared a sample server file that we can use to implement our functionality. At first, you want to make sure to import Harpy and to create a new server and add a server connection. I already did that and added the connection to localhost on port 3000. So the next thing we want to do is to add a route that accepts request payload. And you know, the request payload is only accessible within the post method or put method, but you don't take the get method because the HTTP standard doesn't allow the it doesn't allow request payload for the HTTP get method. Okay. So what I want to do is to implement the route handler to access the request payload. Let's save the payload within an extra object. And it's kind of straightforward to just access the request payload. Well, it's a great API design within Happy. We can just console log to make sure the request payload is actually available within the variable and we should reply our route and uh, let's reply the payload as well. So it's easy for us to check if the transmitted data is responded as well. And afterwards, so you can see I'm just starting the server, throw an error if something went wrong and show the information at which host and port the server runs. Okay, let's start the server. It's just the index.js file and it starts at localhost 3000, that's correct. And to test the implementation, we can use a tool like Postman. You can define the HTTP method to various types of methods. We want to use the post, it's the correct path, it's just the root path. And we can define various types of body. Let's say we use form data, a name like Marcos, my interest is happy. And let's say my age is 30. You can send that. And the response contains all the submitted data from our Postman tool. And Happy should lock that as well. Let's check the console. Ah, you can see that the name, interest, and age get locked correctly. Okay, that's it. Actually, it's kind of straightforward, isn't it? Okay, in future videos, we will take a look at validations on your request payload and do some other kinds with, with the payload. For now, I'm really happy that you watched the video. Thank you for watching, for being around, and we really appreciate you having you within our community. If you like the video and you learned something, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on Happy, Node.js and Android within our channel. Enjoy coding and make it rock.